Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 3.14 from Sadiku book. So the question is using nodal analysis, find V0 in the circuit of figure 3.63. Okay, V0 is this one. Maybe let's let's use this bottommost node here as our ground. So the voltage here will be 0. And here is our V0. Okay, V0. Maybe let's name another notes here. This is V1. And this is V2. No, this is not V2. But this is minus 54. We know the value already. Because this is the ground. And this is the negative terminal of 54. So we will have minus 50 here. Okay. And what else? that we can infer this node here is 100 volt right good okay now let's assume the direction of the current so this is going to the right this is going down this maybe goes to the right this i just follow this one so it goes to the right and this one maybe this is going up like this okay let's let's start from v0 first okay let's do kcl at v0 kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of all the currents that goes out okay good the currents that goes in is this one and this one this one is 12.5 so I will have 12.5 here for as the first term. And then this current here is V1 minus V0 divided by 2. So I will have V1 minus V0 divided by 2. And then this current here is going out. So I will have V0 minus 0. V0 minus 0 divided by 2. Good. And then I will have plus V0 minus minus 50 divided by the resistance between them, which is 8. Maybe let's multiply both sides by 8 to get rid of all of the denominator because 8 is multiply of all of this, right? 8 multiplied by 12.5 is 100. So I'll have 100. And then we will have P1 minus P0 divided by, oh, no, 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 that. 2 and 8 will cancel into 4, so I will have 4 multiplied by P1 minus P0. Good, and then 4 and 8 will cancel into 2, and 2 multiplied by P0 is just 2 P0. Good. And then 8 and 8 will cancel each other. So I will have V0 minus N minus will become positive. So I will have V0 plus here. Okay, that's good. Now let's do distribution. So I will have 4 multiplied by V1. 4 V1 minus 4 V0. And then we will have 2 V0 plus V0 plus 50 good 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 3 okay 3 plus 4 that will be 7 so i will have 7 p0 good and then let's move that to the right hand side so i will have minus 4 p1 okay and then let's move this 50 to the left hand side so 100 minus 50 is equal to 50 so i have 50 here okay i think nothing more that we can do let's have this as equation number one and now let's do another kcl but this time at v1 let's do that kcl at v1 KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is that one. So I will have 100 minus V1 
rate minus P1 divided by the resistance between them, which is A, and then we will have other currents going out. This current is P1 minus P0 divided by 2, and then this current is 12.5. So I write 12. Maybe let's multiply both sides by 2. Okay. So I'll have 200 here minus 2P1. And then we will have 2 will cancel each other. So I'll have P1 minus P0. And then plus 25. Good. And I will have 3P1 here. 3P1 minus V0 or we can write it minus V0 plus 3V1 okay. and then that will equal to 200 minus 25 which is 175 okay let's save this as equation number good now we can solve this two equation and two variables it is a system of linear equation let's use calculator okay let's set this up equation solver is number five two variables is number one okay that's good now let's do seven and then minus four and then 50 and then what else minus one and then three and then 170 Okay, I will have P0 is 50. P0 is 50. And then P1. P1. P1 is the Y value. That will be 70. The unit here is 4. And what is being asked by the question? Let me see the question. Using nodal analysis, find P0. So P0, we already have it which is this one and the value is 54. I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.